with another JSketcher video tutorial. Um, if you don't know what the JSketcher project is, you can find it over here on GitHub. Um, but it's a uh, it's a wonderful little uh, uh, parametric 3D modeler application that's 100% written in JavaScript. So in this particular tutorial, we're going to create a revolve. Now, a revolve is a particularly useful feature, um, especially when you're 3D modeling. It allows you to do um, to make a uh, an object that you can pull along a curved path. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off with a plane, and we'll get into the uh, doing the revolve here in a second. I'm going to create it on the X Y. And now that I have my plane, I'm going to go and click on it to select it and go into the edit sketch mode. Now the edit sketch mode, it's going to bring up the 2D sketcher and it's going to allow me to start drawing something. So I'm going to go and draw uh, some lines. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make kind of the profile here of what I want to get revolved. So I'm going to make something that's kind of like a pulley and I just drew that using the uh, add multi-segment command. Now that I'm done, I'm going to hit escape to make it so that it stops drawing and I'm just going to put some constraints on this sketch real quick. So I'm going to set these guys to be horizontal. I'm going to set the um, these guys to be vertical. And I'm going to set these guys by holding down the shift key. I'm going to pick more than one, but I'm going to set those to being equal length. I'm going to do the same thing here with these guys. I'm going to hold down the shift key. I'm going to tell them to be equal length. And I am going to pick this line and I'm going to make that vertical. Oh, I, I, I doubled this up there. Okay. Um, I'm going to tell this line to be vertical, which it looks like it is. Looks like we're all good here. I'm going to also set these two lines uh, to be equal to each other. So now I kind of have a, uh, a base profile here. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw the axis that I want it to rotate on. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to kind of draw a, uh, I'm going to draw a vertical line out here in space. Um, so I'm going to go and tell that to be uh, vertical. So this right here is all the geometry I need for a revolution. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit save on this. And I'm going to go back over to the 2D view. And you can see how my 2D view uh, or my, uh, my sketch has shown up here in 3D. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the revolve function. Now, right here, it's uh, it started doing a revolve. Now, notice how it automatically selected this edge or that uh, that line as the axis. Now, I can go and pick a different axis object, and that's why I created this line over here. So, right there, I am able to pick that and pick a different spot for that axis. Now, right now, it's creating a uh, it's doing like a half circle. Um, I can change this. Um, uh, the I can change the angle to 360 and do a full revolve. I could do. Um, I can give it a, a number in any. Uh, I can give it any number of degrees here. Um, and again, I can use the scroll wheel to adjust that value. Um, I'm just going to set it for 360 degrees and uh, create what looks like a pulley. Okay, well that has been a, uh, a simple demo on how to do the revolve command. I hope you're able to use this in your projects. Okay, bye.